get high Theresa May is set to face increased pressure from Brexiteers Jeremy Corbyn lost momentum in last week's local elections, with the Tories gaining ground in areas that voted to leave the European Union. But Theresa May's party fell back in constituencies where support for Remain was highest strengthening Labour's plans to soften Brexit. UK politics expert and researcher, Tim Bale, told Express.co.uk, the fact that the Tories seem to have done best in leave voting areas is bound to see Brexiteers pile further pressure on the PM not to, as they see it, give in to Brussels and Remainers by negotiating some kind of customs partnership. The customs partnership idea, under which the UK would collect tariffs on behalf of the EU, would prevent the country taking back control, according to Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson. Mr. Johnson referred to the proposed deal as crazy. Fellow Eurosceptic Tories also slammed the customs partnership. Leader of the European research group of backbench Eurosceptics, Jacob Rees-Mogg said it was completely cretinous. Liam Fox referred to it as a complete sellout. While Brexit Secretary David Davis called it a failure, Arch Brexiteer Ian Duncan Smith said, May's ministers have rejected the customs partnership, in clinging to it, number 10 is making a mistake. However, it is not just Theresa May who may find themselves held at ransom over Brexit following the local election result. Mr Bale also argued Jeremy Corbyn could find himself being forced by his party to adopt his stance on the trade bloc. The politics professor at Queen Mary University said, it will also strengthen the hand of those in the Labour leadership who worry that any attempt by Jeremy Corbyn and his colleagues to either avoid Brexit or soften it further will prevent the party retaking or winning leave voting marginal seats at the next election. Whitehall officials are adamant they can persuade Brussels that a redrafted version of Mrs May's plan could work, despite EU negotiators previously describing it as magical thinking. Cabinet ministers rejected the proposal by 6-5 to five at a crunch meeting last week, leaving Brexit cabinet sources insisting it was a dead parrot and Mrs May conceding there were unresolved issues that required further work. Gedea in Duncan Smith has blasted the Prime Minister's customs partnership plan. Jadelium Fox has described the plan as a complete sellout. Mr Bale added, the EU will be paying attention to all this, sure, but it doesn't change the fundamentals either for its negotiating team or for the UK government. The EU 27 won't allow the UK to have its cake and eat it, nor will it countenance a hard border in Ireland. Meanwhile, number 10 knows that, whatever the Brexiteers may believe, it faces almost certain defeat in the Commons unless it agrees to some sort of customs partnership in the autumn. The professor of politics concluded, the results might embolden Eurosceptics in both main parties but they don't solve the bind Mrs. Mayor Mr. Corbyn continue to find themselves in.